वेलकम टू कंप्लीट सीक्वेल टूटोरियल वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द व्यू व्हाट इज द व्यू इन द सीक्वेल एंड इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस हाउ यू कैन अप्लाई द डीएमएल क्वेरी इन द व्यू सो दिस इज द न्यू टॉपिक विच इज आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एंड ऑलरेडी आई प्रोवाइडेड द लॉस ऑफ वीडियो रिलेटेड टू सीक्वेल सो बिकॉज ऑल दिस वीडियो विच आई ऑलरेडी Uh, covered that concept will be uh, applied into the coming all the video so if you uh, didn't get a chance uh, please go and the watch the all the video uh, which is already available till the video number 42 so in this video uh, i will in detail discuss uh, what exactly the view so uh, let's jump to the sql server uh, management studio and uh, understand uh, what is the view okay so basically uh, view is the virtual table okay which is the uh, used to uh, hold the data from one or more than one table and uh, uh, it, it is stored in the database so uh, i already discuss uh, all the object like the ct is stored into the memory but uh, the view is stored in the database but view doesn't contain any data itself so when the view or the uh, we can also call the virtual table when the virtual table created uh, the virtual table doesn't contain any data and uh, trust me this is the very important interview question conceptual question definitely the interviewer will ask you question that uh, the view contain any data or not so uh, the student uh, saying that yes view contain the data because you thinking that it is stored in a database so it contain the data but the view doesn't contain in the data whenever the view is run whenever the view is executed they pull the data uh, from the uh, table okay so it is a set of a query that are applied to one or more table that that are stored within a database in a as a object okay so uh view is also basically using for the security uh, purpose uh, just for the restrict the user uh, or viewing the certain column uh, on a row okay so whenever you if you have the any requirement to uh, restrict the any column like for example uh, i have one implied detail table is there so in implied detail table uh, we have one salary column is there so i we don't want to and disclose this column information to any of the developer uh, so we can create the virtual table and we can uh, restrict the uh, column uh, you can hide the column of the salary and you can share the virtual table to the user or the developer so they cannot able to view uh, the salary information of any employee and also uh, Uh, view you can apply the restriction of access a specific row and column for a user as well uh, we can apply the security mechanism and uh, also a view can be create using a table of the same database or the different database and it is used to implement the security mechanism in the sql server so most of the time when the view is using in the real time uh, basically uh, is using for the a uh, reporting purpose so whenever we pulling uh, the data from more than one table we can create the view and view can integrate with the any of the report like uh, the report is uh, uh, using the crystal report so uh, when the uh, user submitted the report in the back end a uh, view will be work so i'm going to discuss how we can create the view and uh, how many type of the operation we can perform the view so all the uh, det in detail i am going to discuss so to uh, learn the view i am going to create two dummy table okay so one is the employee detail and uh, created and uh, you can also create just uh, pause the video and you can create in local machine uh, just for the practices okay and uh, second table i am going to create with this employee contact information or uh, employee detail and employee contact information we have uh, two table and uh, this two table i will use to entire learning of the view so uh, so basically uh, the first one is the uh, we can select all column of a table 
so basically whenever you have the requirement to uh, select the all column uh, you can uh, just uh, syntax of creating the view is the create view and the view name and you can put the uh, whatever the select are from table whatever table do you want to create the view so now you can see uh, this view is created and uh, uh, if you put this left tab from table so basically a uh, view will be behave like the same the table uh, like table so just you can select put the select statement so how you can differentiate which is the view and which is the table so just select the table or view and press the alt f f1 and once you press the alt f1 in the tab uh, you can see this is the view and this is the created date so and but if you select the table and press the alt f1 so you you can find here it is the user table and uh, previously when you select the view so this is the view so by using the this uh, you can figure it out which is the view or which is the user table now uh, suppose if you want to uh, add the uh, specific column like uh, if you put here uh, you can see the salary column is uh, populating but uh, we don't suppose if you don't want to uh, populate this salary column uh, so whatever the column do you want you can put the column name so that column only include into this view okay so now if you select this one now you can see here uh, the view is coming uh, like uh, that there is no salary column is there okay so uh, suppose if you uh, creating the view and immediate selecting in between if you need to put the go clause so now if you creating the view for the specific condition and uh, after the creation again you selecting if you not putting the go clause it will throw an error okay you can see this is the syntax error is coming so if you want to run both together you can put the go clause between so this view is created uh, based one for the specific column means so we can put any uh, where clause any condition whatever the condition filtration you required you can put and you can uh, select it okay so now you can see uh, the output is coming which salary have uh, uh, greater than 25,000 only so like this you can uh, create the view now uh, suppose uh, if you have the uh, view which is the uh, uh, containing the data uh, more than one table so we can also create the view that hold the column of different table so uh, I use the join condition here imply detail and imply contact so when you create this view this data is uh, retrieving more than one table so now if you select this view uh, you, you can see this view is, is the having the data from more than one table so any number of the table you can include in a uh, view uh, you can also uh, drop the view anytime if you view is not required simply just syntax right uh, drop view and the view name uh, so you can uh, always drop the view you can also alter the view so how you can alter the view just you can put the sp underscore help text and the view name so suppose i am putting the view 4 and uh, just you can uh, select it and select the, all the code and uh, put into the window okay so uh, suppose if you put it the window and we don't want to uh, like uh, uh, previously uh, if you put this select star from uh, imply view 4 okay so it's a mobile number imply salary column is there i don't want to imply salary so if we can remove this column and just put the alter statement here uh, alter alter view view name and if you run again this one so and if you run the so this view got alter now if you going to uh, select this view uh, you can see uh, the the no salary column is there so anytime you can alter the view anytime you can uh, uh, drop the view you can anytime you can create the view and also you can rename the view so i i am creating this view uh, that is the view new and uh, uh, you can see this view is available that is the employee uh, view name but in the real time the view name is always v underscore so uh, we can easily figure out which is the view and which is the table so real time we always use the conversion uh, naming conversion like uh, uh, 
uh, v underscore so you can differentiate by just looking to database that uh, uh, this is the view and this is the table but uh, renaming the view uh, uh, if you rename the view might be impact into the production and that if the view is using in the report or the store procedure you can also uh, see the message here so uh, to rename the view you can put the old view name and the, this is the new view name so you can also get some type of the warning message that uh, changing any part of an object name could break the script and the store procedure so basically sql engine saying that uh, if you renaming if you changing the any view it uh, break the some type of the script and the store procedure uh, which is running into the production so the next concept is the very important concept which is the uh, refreshing a view okay so basically when you refresh the view uh, ma what mean the refreshing the view so for example i have employee detail and including all the column and i am creating the uh, table here okay so now after some time someone is add uh, an additional column in yearly income in this table okay so this column is got added so if you execute this uh, table so you can see uh, one additional column is added yearly income but we put it the star so it should be also uh, in the view also need to be yearly income is there but it's not available the reason is when the view is created this column is not there but later the column is added so without affecting the view we can refresh the view so whatever the column is added that will be included into the view so if you put the execute as sp underscore refresh view uh, and the view name so you can see uh, now if you view is uh, a refresh now if you go to select the view now you can see early income is populated so uh, in the real time always some time frame and uh, some view is uh, refreshing by using the job so any type of the changes in happen in the, the object or the table so it will reflect in a view and next concept is the a schema binding okay so what is the schema binding so basically suppose this view is created and you share this view to the client okay so client basically they will use the just put this select star from the view name and uh, suppose this view is also used into the uh, production but uh, someone come and uh, uh, they uh, remove they basically uh, drop the view like whatever the uh, table is used so basically supp uh, suppose this view is there employee uh, uh, suppose we have the view uh, like this view you can take the employee, employee detail so suppose employee, employee view 4 is you uh, share to the client okay so the client used to execute the view or this is used into the production but someone come and they drop the employee contact table okay so like uh, for example they drop table uh, employee contact then what will be happen now you can see this table is got drop and uh, if anyone execute this view they will got an error and view got failed that this view is not work because imply contact table we draw and uh, sub suppose if you have the some crucial client uh, or something the client have the meeting or report not able to generate then this is a very big impact on the uh, client point of view okay so to avoid this type of the situation uh, we can use the uh, schema binding concept okay so a schema binding just you can use the with uh, schema binding and uh, whatever the normal the view is creating so when you use the schema binding uh, the user not able to drop the table uh, so if you want to drop the table employee detail now they will not allow to drop the table and uh, the error message is saying that cannot drop the table employee detail because it is being a reference by object employee detail 3 so to avoid this type of the situation uh, you can always use the uh, schema binding now uh, we have the uh, we can also encrypt the text so uh, i already discussed if you want to see the code uh, that what code is included okay so uh, if you want to encrypt this code don't if you don't want to share what code is used into the view uh, we can encrypt this text also just you can use the 
with encryption so uh, when the view is created with the one uh, with encryption uh, for this view you cannot see what code is used uh, so it also by using the graphical user interface also you cannot see what is the text is used into this view so you can also encrypt but the real time uh, we not doing this type of the activity uh, because we lost the code okay so in the future if something uh, if you want to alter the code then you cannot al able to alter because uh, this text is encrypted okay so uh, this is the all about this uh, view okay so uh, basically uh, in the next video uh, I, I will also continue the how we can implement the dml operation how dml operation is work okay so just you can keep watching all the video in the detail i'll meet again in next video thank you so much